What was I thinking? I despise myself. Anyone else ever say anything like, I'm so not smart, I know I am not. The first harmful habit that crush a man is giving credence to negative internal dialogue. These days, pessimistic thinking is the norm. According to research published in 2005 by the National Science Foundation, the average person has anywhere from 12,000 to 60,000 ideas per day. And what's more shocking is that, for the vast majority of people, around 80% of those thoughts are negative. The bad thoughts do not have to control your life. They exist only in your imagination and cannot be true. As for the second, let me be clear that I have nothing but respect for bodybuilders and guys who seek that look. Nonetheless, obsessing about having a six-pack is a self-destructive habit that men should break immediately. However, many men who pursue it believe that it will bring them better health. The point I'm making, guys, is that it's counterproductive to obsess over your appearance by trying to achieve a six-pack. Rather, focus on getting actual outcomes. You should aim to improve your strength by focusing on your squat, deadlift, mile time, and other performance metrics, rather than on how you appear doing the exercises. Secondly, many men engage in self-destructive behavior because they are creatures of habit and routine. If you've been around for any length of time, you've developed some sort of routine. Now it's possible that you're a product of your routines and unconscious acts. Always slip on your right foot's shoe first, then your left. The present norms, alternatively, that's a succession of behaviors that often occur in a predetermined order. Life, when broken down, consists largely of repeated actions and routines. Your outcome, your life, will be based on the choices you make every day about what you put into your body, how you care for your body, how you study and invest in your intellect, and the habits and routines you have. Therefore, it's preferable to establish routines and stick to them rather than wing it when it comes to establishing habits. Okay, let's chat about how to keep your skin healthy. In the morning, do you do anything specific? I always begin by splashing water on my face. After that, I wet my face with warm water and use a dab of face wash to scrub my face for a minute. This is followed by the application of an exfoliating scrub. I'll get a small amount on the palm of my hand and scrub my face in small circular motions for approximately a minute. Recently, I've begun applying anti-aging cream after patting my face dry. Unsolicited advice is the next self-destructive practice you should abandon. A connected global society is making bad situations worse. Anyone who has used Instagram or posted something remotely controversial on Facebook has likely discovered the inexhaustible supply of unsolicited opinions. Here's the deal though, some opinions are valuable, some not so much, and probably most are not. Remember that you must face the consequences of your words and deeds. Seek advice and counsel only from those whose judgment you value. Consequently, many men make the next harmful move. They compare themselves to people they don't know very well. Again, people see this individual out and about or peruse their web profile and think, man, look at what that guy's got. We may have even attended the same high school together. I didn't know him well, but holy cow, just take a look at his wife. She's stunning. I covet his resources and capabilities and would do anything to have them myself. Realize that comparison and realize that if you spend your life comparing yourself to other people and wishing your life was different, you will never be happy. If you want to be truly happy with this one life you have, you need to learn to get to know others on a deep level and recognize they are just as human as you are. I decided to quit comparing myself to others and start living my life for myself and the people that truly matter to me. One more detrimental trap many men fall into is caring too much about what others think of them, especially women. There are a lot of videos out there about how to improve your appearance, but if you go back and watch them, you'll see that I always stress the importance of knowing who you are and what you believe in. Realizing that most people don't give a hoot about you because they're preoccupied with their own problems, difficulties and fears is a huge step toward realizing how much we're the same. Next, and this is crucial, you must not live in the past. At times we reflect on the past and wonder, what if I had contacted my sister that night she decided to do something stupid? Or, what if I had been smarter 
and had made a better decision with my sister that I lost almost a decade ago. Is it so wrong if I just come out and say it? Your prior mistakes should not be a source of discouragement. Instead of dwelling on things you can no longer alter, put your energy into improving your future self. Another bad habit of mine is to think I know everything and to try to impress others by being knowledgeable. If you're a brilliant guy with all the answers, you're quite smart. If you can learn to ask better questions and become a better listener, you're a genius. People are more likely to like you if you are able to do this. Listen to them without passing judgment, accept them as they are, and devote time to them. The other day I was watching a movie in which a man sets a microphone in front of a group of people and tells them not to say a word if they want a chance to win $5. Naturally, the vast majority of the individuals in the group break the silence and ask, what do you mean, win $5? Please explain the norms. That's where they start to lose. Don't say a word and you'll win five bucks, he told them, but then they started chatting mindlessly. And this is when everything started to go south. The old adage, it's better to keep silent and be thought an idiot than to open your mouth and erase all doubt, was a personal favorite of mine growing up. I like it so much because it taught me the value of listening to others without immediately responding to them or acting on my emotions by withdrawing from a heated discussion. What you shouldn't do is declare, I despise you and I never want to see you again, since you can't take back those words and they could end the relationship forever. I think burying one's thoughts is one of the most harmful patterns I encounter among males. There are plenty of men in the world who have the fatal flaw of being too set in their ways to ever see the error of their ways and change and thus would rather perish with the ship than take advantage of the opportunity to escape on one of the lifeboats. All of us are shackled by self-defeating ideas. See you in the next video.